let's talk about the Chiefs first because I have a reason. What did the Dolphins try to do to the Chiefs all day long last week? They tried blitzing them. They tried blitzing Mahomes because their defensive line was so hurt. They had all these Pro Bowl defensive linemen from 2014, 2015, Houston, Ingram. They have all those guys that are just older. And Christian Wilkins, they had Christian Wilkins, but it wasn't enough. The Chiefs' offensive line, it's a good offensive line. They got a lot of push against the Dolphins. But, you know, and the Dolphins had to blitz a lot because of that. So when the Dolphins were blitzing Patrick Mahomes, even though he was getting hit, he was still delivering strikes all day long against the Blitz. He was eating that Blitz alive. And so the Chiefs' defense, they like to Blitz a lot, right? They're going to blitz a lot, and the Chiefs' defense is not really that great against the run game. They did good against the Dolphins. The Dolphins couldn't really get anything going to start with. And, they, you know, they kind of took the run game away from the Dolphins because, you know, the Dolphins were behind the entire game. I don't, I don't think the Dolphins had to lead once in this game. So Josh Allen, look at the weapons that Josh Allen has. Yeah, Tua had the weapons he had, but Josh Allen has played, like, has played amazing. He's incredible. He's got Stephon Diggs. He's got... I don't know if Gabe Davis is going to be back this game, but he has Dalton Kincaid, who has been incredible on his return uh, for his return last week. Dawson Knox, he's I I like Kincaid a lot more than Knox, but the Bills' offensive line is really good. They could run the ball. They have James Cook. They have Josh Allen, and I think James Cook and Josh Allen are going to run all over the Chiefs. So back to the blitzing point, why I started talking about the Chiefs and the Dolphins and Dolphins blitzing and, and all that. So the Chiefs' offensive line hasn't been great at times this year, right? It hasn't been as good as it as we would ex- as we expected it to be. But the Chiefs' offensive line is incredible. It is a very good offensive line. And but, well, hold on, I just completely. But this weekend, the Chiefs are going up against a much better front. The Bills aren't going to have to blitz. The Bills are going to be able to, you know, the Bills like a lot of coverage. They like to call coverage. They don't like to call man coverage. They like to call zone. They like to call it a zone. And they mixed it up last week quite a bit against the Steelers. And, you know, typically the Bills have been our are, are, are team just to call cover two or call one coverage and not really mix it up. Last week they did that. I was happy they did that. And I think they're going to do that again this week against Mahomes. And it's not going to be Mahomes' fault that they lose. It's ultimately going to be the lack of weapons and the weapons being able to make that extra play and be able to make that play that they need, that big play. Rasheed Rice has been really good. I've been really impressed with Rasheed Rice, but they still need another guy. They do have Travis Kelsey. He did drop a pass last week. It was a tough catch to make, and weather was crazy. Mahomes played incredible. But I I, I just think, you know, you, you know, Josh Allen, his running ability, James Cook, you know, he could catch the ball out of the back, but then you have Stefan Diggs, Khalil Shakir. I love Khalil Shakir. I've liked him for a long time. I think he's very underrated. He's not I think he's very underappreciated. But I you know, the I, I just think that the Bills are gonna be able to run all over the Chiefs and limit the, the possessions that they get, which will magnify those little mistakes made by the Chiefs receivers so much more. Those little mistakes are gonna show up and be much more crucial if you don't have as many drives. So the Bills, they're going to run the heck out of the football. And the defense, they're going to get a turnover or two just because of how bad the receivers are. You know, I think one's going to come off of a tip, and maybe you'll get a fumble off of another one. So I do have the Buffalo Bills, 27-24 with the extra weapons, Josh Allen, James Cook running all over them. And finally being Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs.